in here and I got a Ryzen 2700X, a Ryzen 2600, and a Ryzen 3600 for $25 USD or for $35 USD for the three. Now what was wrong with them? This Ryzen 2700X was missing a pin. This Ryzen 2600X had about, I don't know, maybe like 30 or 40 bent pins. And this Ryzen 3600 has severe cosmetic damage, which I can actually show you right here. Let me find it <laughs> on the side right there. Can I get these CPUs to work? Let's find out. So here's my test bench. I got this uh, X570 motherboard for 60 bucks, and then I actually found out there was some issues with it uh, beyond the, the purported issue of the PCIe bracket not working. So I was able to get a refund on some of it. So I actually ended up only paying, uh, I think I paid 35 for this thing total. And it'll be great for testing CPUs, and I might even use it to mine one day. Then I got this power supply for 15 bucks. It's a Corsair CX570. <laughs> the guy didn't have any other cables than these four, which is fine. I, I didn't really care. It works. And I'm just using this random cooler that I found in my shed. I have to get some more uh, AM5 Stealth coolers, but I don't have any available right now because the last one is on my last CPU mining rig. So let's uh, let's get to it, guys. First one is a uh, Ryzen 5 2700X. This one had a single broken pin. It was um, right over here, one of those corner pins. I think it was that one right there, and I just soldered it back on. This repair, actually, since it was one corner pin, and I've done it um, before, only took me about 15 minutes to repair. Uh, so you see it right there. Yeah, I just, just tossing this cooler on it to make sure it doesn't overheat. And I'm taking the best GPU that I own, a testing uh, 730. I actually bent the PCIe bracket so I could just drop it in like that to give it a video out. And we're gonna plug it in and turn it on in one second. I got it plugged in. Let's just go ahead and jump this. And we are going to see if it works. All right, it is on. So let's go check if it posts. And we got ourselves a post. 2700X working just fine. Let's go try out another one. Next one is the Ryzen 2600. As you can see, I've rebent all the pins back. It's honestly a lot easier than it looks. I just use an X-Acto knife and you can bend multiple pins back in one go. I'm also not afraid if I break it, so I'm a little more aggressive than I think most people would be. So let's get this one in. And we got another post, two for two. Nice. All right. Now this 3600X, I, or this 3600, this damage is pretty bad and I just realized that there is a missing pin right there. I don't think it's gonna start. I might attempt to try to dig in there and try to solder on a wire. Um, but, you know, like I said, I paid 10 bucks for both CPUs. And worst case, this can just go to the donor pile. So let me just see if it works. I'm going to try it. You know, I, I don't think it'll work, but let's see. And I'm getting a, this, the top light is the CPU. And the second light is the uh, dim. It just, it's not working. No, uh. No picture on the screen. So uh, yeah, we, we've got nothing. So I'm, I think this one's dead. I'm actually gonna spend, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes trying to see if I can repair it. I'm gonna try something and if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So I will be right back with that one as well. Just a quick update for you guys. I don't know if I'm trying to zoom in properly. Uh, I tried to make a trace, uh, as you can see on my donor when you get to these copper points. They're basically dead. You have to, the CPU is basically almost impossible to repair. You have to try to dig through and trace to the copper wire. And I thought I got through and I tried to use some flux pit or some solder paste to um, make it so I could put the pin in to connect to the wire. Not only did it not work, but I whacked two pins off and I don't feel like going any further on it because I'm pretty sure it's not going to work anyway. Uh, if anybody does know how to repair when you get to the copper trace, I'd be very interested because I have definitely botched my fair share of repairs. Uh, this one is like 500 bent pins. I don't. I, I kind of tried to bend them back. I got most of them, and then I uh, I popped one or two, and I just didn't feel like going any further. This is a donor that started as a botched repair. 
And this is also a botched repair with a copper plate on the corner. Uh, so now it's a donor as well. So these are all my, and now this uh, Ryzen, where is it? This uh, 3600 will now be joining the ranks of the donors. I hope you enjoyed me trying to bring some dead CPUs back to life. I got two out of three in that last batch. Um, honestly, CPU repair isn't that hard. If you ever want to do it, pick up something cheap like a uh, Ryzen 5 or a Ryzen 3 3100. I bought this a long time ago and I repaired it successfully, but then I unfortunately, as I probably told you guys before, I thought it was a donor and I started popping pins off of it. And by the time I realized it was too late and I don't really feel like repairing it. But if you were to get yourself a cheap one like this, you need a heat gun. I have a more expensive model, but you can get a cheaper model on Amazon for like 60 bucks and you can start repairing them. Uh, all of my CPUs and basically all my computers, my, uh, well, two of my gaming PCs and a test bench have resoldered CPUs. And while you end up with a dead pile like this, it's, there's worse things to do, and at least I try to save them from e-waste. And, you know, save as much as I can from e-waste. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU, CPU content, and just whatever I find interesting in the tech space. Crew man, out.